Anyway, um, my plan for today is uh, I would like to hollow out an area for a rudimentary wheat farm. I said that at the beginning of last stream when we played Minecraft and we never got around to doing it because I got distracted by, um, I think it was the goats. But now, now that we've got those goats, I need a way of uh, breeding the goats and rudimentary wheat farm. When I say rudimentary, I do want to kind of decorate it and make it look good and it be functional. So what I'm thinking is we can... I'm, I'm actually thinking of having the wheat farm up here out of the way. Uh, because we've got a few areas down here, like few branches around this kind of way. And um, what, what I'm kind of thinking, I'm thinking block off this hole, start the wheat farm here, and have it kind of coming down into this bit. Uh, when we harvest, we click a button down at the bottom, and it all falls down into like one pile kind of thing down there. That That's kind of how I'm feeling with this. Um, it's either that or... Or we dig out in that direction and build a wheat room and um, and uh, make it just like a wheat room and keep this corridor. Actually, I think that's what I'm going to do. Isn't l cave living great living? Uh, unde undecided yet, Kath. I'm not going to lie. I am undecided whether I like being in the cave. It will grow on me. Uh, I think once I've got some of my redstone contraptions up so that I can move around the area without having to use ladders and things, uh, that would be nicer. I want a launching platform here so I can bounce up. Um, I'd probably rip out this cow farm and uh, open up the, the hole there and have like a launching platform that will launch me up so I can just jump up. Um, also, let's... I don't think we need any more sugarcane, but... I'm going to mine it anyway. So yeah, I think that's the. I think I'll do it in the corner there where I where I said. So we'll kind of like work on that today. I would actually like to get that done today. Uh, that's not food. Uh, that's that's that. It shouldn't be too difficult. I will accept that as a yes. Mm, debatable. Don't think I've really said yes. I'm undecided yet. There are definite disadvantages to living in a cave at the moment because I had to create a crappy water station for water. I did not like that. I mean, I could actually. Hold on. We could cover this up. I could cover this up. Bop, bop, bop. Perfect. Now I can't see my crappy water station, because if I do this real quick... Infinite water. Now all my torches have gone everywhere. <laughs> all the letters are there. Right, okay, so so yeah, um, I think what we're going to do then, I will uh, cave out a room in here. How big do we want the room? I, I think what I'm going to do, there's like a nice little shape going on around that bit. I'm going to keep that shape and we will um, kind of build around the shape, I think. What? I'm breaking. Maybe let's do the efficiency. Actually, I should probably combine those. Not going to, though. Also, at some point today, I would like a silk touch uh, so that we can start mining some ice. Okay. Right, now let's go... Let's go in a bit. And we'll uh, kind of, like, brace it off as we go in. This might take a while, because we do have to mine all this out, unfortunately. And I'm kind of hoping in that direction we're not going to hit something important. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, how wide is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect, which means this is the center. Nine by nine room. Well, we'll see how far we can go in this direction. And we'll see. I'm not going to make it a perfect square, Kath. Uh, it will be all uh, all sorts of uh, shapes and sizes. If anything, it would be bigger. I'll be honest, it would be bigger. Because I do want quite a big uh, wheat farm. Okay, so uh, yeah, I don't want it to be like a perfect square. Uh, the issue with that there is that this doesn't quite flow quite nicely. So let's uh, let's get some smooth stone. I'm trying to fly with an elytra, I need to be careful. Let's get some uh, let's get some stone going, and we'll fill in the blanks. Kind of like that, right? Hmm. Maybe get rid of this thing here. Yeah, I like that. I like that. And then uh, I could have like a stair piece there, I think. Maybe a slab there. And uh, a slab here. So let's go and sort those out. Yeah, we really need slime blocks as well, because I'm going to be jumping around like crazy, and uh, I don't like not having the slime. Mm hmm. Do I have a- do I not have a grindstone? What do I need for a grindstone, actually? Ah. Thought it was that. Okay, cool. Just saves a little bit of resources using the grindstone. Uh, let's get that there. Okay, and that just gives us a little bit of depth and dimension. And uh, I would also like to put a little bit of texture in here too. Um, at some point, we'll get rid of the dirt because we don't need that. Okay, okay, that that that's looking good. That's a nice shape, but I I want to texturize this as well, so we'll need some andesite and stuff, and uh, I want to get rid of all this dirt as well and the diorite. I hear a spider. Uh, for the time being, I'm actually going to just fill that in with diorite, but I will get rid of that. Get it. Okay, let's start hollowing away this chunk in here, and then we'll work on the interior. I think the best thing to do... Um, let's try and, trying to think how it's going to flow. I think I want to dig down and walk into the farm. I'm not sure. Or maybe maybe we should have maybe we should have that as the dirt layers. One, two, three, four. That would be great because uh, then we can have the water sources back here. We can have the dirt on this bit. So yeah, and then we can have it flowing into a central channel. Maybe one, two, three, four. So actually, nine wide is perfect. Uh, it does look a little bit asymmetrically off. That's okay though, I think. And I want a slab. I picked up that piece of diorite again. Get out. Like I said, I would like a little bit of granite in this, maybe a bit of, um, uh, maybe get rid of this actually. There we go. That that just opens up that side a little bit. I do like that. 
And uh, something there. Just having like these little transition changes between the levels and stuff just makes it makes the shape look great. I need to not have so many blocks there, I think, as well. But uh, we can work on that another time. Let's uh, let's start kind of like. I do need to figure out the redstone as well, so we do need to make sure that we've got a little bit of room for redstone, because I would just like to hit a button maybe here. So maybe leave that one open for a redstone dust. Hit a button there, it triggers the whole system, and then it comes here and we collect it here maybe. Hey T-Man. And on the, uh, on the ceilings for this... Hmm. On, on the ceilings for this, um, I'm thinking, uh, we can have some of that dripstone, and we can have, like, the water kind of dripping down and making it feel, like, really moist and stuff. And m maybe some other, like, maybe some granite as well, because I think that, that goes quite well with that. Let's see what we've got. Um, yeah, so we've got this, like, dripstone block. So I would like to utilize this in the build. And we've also got the granite, which I think might... I might be able to get that to blend in. Maybe not, actually. They don't look that great together. Um, do you know what I need? I need some, like, mushroom block. Which... Let me guess. I don't have any mushrooms. I do not have any mushrooms. I need some mushroom block. That's what I need. Uh, so I would need mushrooms and silk touch. So maybe for the time being, we uh, hmm, could use some uh, spruce. Spruce might work. I'd need to go and farm that. Hmm. And uh, where's the slate as well? Uh, oh, no, it's the tough. That's what I wanted to use. I wanted to use, like, this tough block. And maybe combine it with, like, mossy cobblestone. And that, that can be our farming color. There is this cobbled deep slate that I'm tempted with for, like, some of the roofy bits. Some of the ceiling. We can have, like, some dark moss areas with this. Um... That blends quite well. And then the in-between, like, some stone and andesite kind of stuff. Yeah, I, I think I think that's a good, like, block palette, but... Um, let's not focus on this first. Let's, uh, let's focus on... I'll leave this here, just so that I can kind of remember what blocks I'm going for. But uh, let's focus on the shape and the actual function of the build first. I think that's probably the most important. How are you, T-Man? So that's going to be the redstone. Uh, here, then let's do... I'm not sure whether that would get tilled. Basically, I'm thinking water source, water source, water source, water source. Uh, actually, no, back, the water source on this side would go back further. Upper stage stacking should be happening soon. Nice. So that would be a water source. Mm. 
that would be a water source. So I'd have to figure out a way of redstoning these trapdoors so that they uh, release correctly and it's well hidden. I might get rid of those pieces there and put this on this level. Might look a little bit better. Which would then mean I would be able to push this water source back one. All of, I think all of this is going to be square, so let's get this kind of sorted. And this isn't necessarily about being as efficient as possible with this build. This is about me kind of just experimenting and having a bit of fun, you know? Just trying to change up the build style a little bit, just having a play. We'll kind of see how it goes. I th I think I know the um. Oh, do you know what I should be doing? I should be using those with the uh, with the uh, fortune pick, shouldn't I? Yeah, we should be mining the iron with fortune. Let's equip that. Cause you get more iron with fortune now. Which it was the thing that I always used to ask for when I was. Uh, before I properly got into the game, but now I'm not so sure that we need fortune on an iron pick, but hey. What do I know? What do I know? actually thinking of uh, putting a little piece in here as well. That can't go any more further forward, so maybe not. Uh, it is actually quite tricky figuring this out. Something teleported. Whoop. Heard the whoop. Right, let's get all of that sorted because this will all be dirt. Let's start getting the water source blocks in um, and get some trapdoors going. And I want as many trapdoors as I can get, so I'm literally just going whop, whack. I think that should be good. I might change these trapdoors uh, so that they're not oak. At some point, but we'll see. I've, I've, I, I had oak wood on me, so... we. I mean, we can change it at some point. It's not set in stone. So that has to be a redstone signal there. So does this. Um, I'm wondering if I can cover that up. Oh, I, I know how we could cover that up. Uh, do I have any stairs on me? I do not. So also you implement a little bit of cobblestone in this for the time being. Actually, no, let's use the normal st stairs. We can always... We can always change it. Let's just get the shape. I think shape and function is more important at the moment than... Um, than form. So that would be redstone. So if that's redstone, we cannot have water flowing from here, can we? I don't... Th didn't think that through. 
Because this would be a water source block. And what is going to happen when we open that there? Oh, it does, it does go in a straight line, look. So it does actually miss the redstone. And the redstone signal would have to creep up and go over. Wasn't expecting that, actually. That flows further than I thought it would. I will have to have... I need to rethink this. Well, I mean, the way around it is to have that too deep, right? That's the collection system, and it, it would be, like, too deep down. Yeah. So that is the way around it. That also sounds like a dram. I don't know where I can hear it, but it's somewhere around here. Yeah, drowned swims, drowns gurgles. So that piece of redstone, I'm gonna have to leave that exposed because I can't think of a way of blocking it off. I think redstone can go through that. Excellent. I think that's as far back as I want this thing to go, maybe. Don't have any dirt with me. I might change tack with this. It's not quite looking right. Does a glass break redstone? Glass does not re break redstone. No, I can. I could have a glass block there as well. Um, It doesn't in bedrock. No, it doesn't in uh, it doesn't in uh, Java either. Doesn't break a redstone line. I mean, I'll be honest, what we could do here is we could go another level higher. And I could do the same with this. Like, bring that higher. Where does that go? I think we are just going to have uh, redstone exposed. Um, that's okay.
Yeah, try, trying to patch a redstone signal through all of this is going to be honestly quite interesting. Especially because that has to be a torch. That here has to be a torch, and that means that can be a full block. Because then that's... Because then when I turn that off, it opens the, um... It opens the, uh, the trap doors. So, so, when we put a press a button on this side, it would, uh, it would open the trap doors. Uh, that's, 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 that. I don't have a button. So, let's make one. And let's try... do have to get in there. All right, that can be a repeater even. Yeah, that one needs to be a repeater, I think. So then I can come off of this back there, take it out of that one, and then redstone dust behind here. Just so that we can repeat the signal through, and I'm not relying on just solely soul dust. So that I want to be a repeater going into there. That can. Is that gonna lock off the repeater if we turn it on? Let's go and make a repeater. Mm hmm. 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 Oh, da 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 da. I need another repeater anyway. I think I've got a spare repeater up here. I've got a few repeaters. Awesome. All right, let's uh, let's break in and we'll we'll kind of see how it's going. Excellent. Now, question. If I... Yes, it does work. It doesn't, um... It doesn't break it. I was worried for a second there that it might... I might have broken it. Okay, let's, um, plug this in. Whoops. Actually, before I do that... Eh. Eh. Thank you. I'll tell you what, let's, uh, let's start, uh, tilling the soil. Every so often I'm just gonna trample those. <laughs> uh, I think I've got a hoe. I do. Let's also just throw some of this. Actually, let's, uh, let's put that straight in the smelter. Um, let's just put some of my junk away. I don't need that. Not going to need all of the uh, cobblestone. I think this whole section is going to be cobblestone at some point. Hmm. 
Put the andesite away for the time being. Those trapdoors are going to come in useful. Also, I really hope I can get some sort of silk touch pick at some point today. Like I said, I want to start farming ice. And ice down for this bit. Um, we'll have to have, like, some sort of a collection thing. Maybe the collection thing can literally, like, drop right down. And we have it in a chest down here. Right? Like, right in this window, we can have, like, a, a, a chest that collects it all. Collects all the drops. Yeah, I think think that's what I'm going to do. So, so we'll have everything drop down into there. I think that's a good idea. And I need to make sure that both sides I can easily access getting back here to, to reload the farm up. Ugh. You know what? I shouldn't have closed up the uh, the redstone back there because I'm going to need to break back in and figure out where the redstone's going. Oops. Oh. That's the wrong way. Sure, that's exactly what I wanted. Where's my axe? It's right in front of you. Ah, stop placing trapdoors, Wumble. So we've actually got it going into a block here. So I think I'm going to do that. Because then I'll know to pull the the redstone out from there. So that's that's to pull out from. Okay, let's get the rest of this farm closed off. How wide is this right now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen! Good lucky number. Excellent. And uh, for the roof, I definitely don't want to make this feel like it's just a box. So I will want to put like some sort of a dome thing with like hanging lights coming down. And uh, some of the dripstone like kind of falling down too, stalactites and things. Because it's quite moist in here, it's quite damp. That's the narrative behind it. At least in my head. I hate the fact that my um, efficiency pick has gone. Even though it was an efficiency one, it was just so nice.
But like I said, I want to get the shape of the room sorted first. Uh, we'll get it functioning, or at least halfway through functioning. And um, I'll figure the rest out. Whoops. Hmm. I do have to make sure that the water works correctly here as well. No. That's not what I wanted to see. See, that's what you want, that thing. If it overflows down that way as well, it's not too bad, because... Goddamn hydrophobic blocks. Hmm... Like I said, I, I want to make it look right first and then we, then I can figure out the rest. I do like the fact that that avoids the redstone though. <laughs> That's like the most dangerous thing you ever do in Minecraft is put redstone next to water but it's fine. So this would now have to be... Ah. Okay, so we need to get the redstone signal from that block there, which it's currently powering to power this block here. And I th think... I think if we just do this, wait, hold on, there's an easy way to find this out, yeah, perfect. Okay, so that powers that trapdoor. Now I need to make it so that this goes this route because at the moment there are blocks here that are not getting watered oh wait hold on no okay so there's two pieces of there's two blocks there but i could take advantage of this and put the lighting here actually now now i come to think of it like it's not the most fit it's not going to be the most efficient farm in the world we knew that this the question how's it going my dude Yeah, so I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'll uh, I'll leave those as barren blocks. Maybe we can get some like coarse dirt in there, or maybe maybe we can have like a stalactite that's going up. That could be quite fun. Or a stalagmite. Stalag no, stalactites go up. Do stalactites go up or do stalactites go down? Mr. Question with the with the host as well. Thank you.
Stalag tights always come down because tights always come down, right? Okay. How am I doing today? I'm doing good, thanks. Your day has been good. Nice, 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 nice. Good to know. What have you been doing on your Sunday? Uh, now we should cover that bit up by putting... Nope. Glowberry growing downwards as well. That's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea. The annoying thing is here. I don't think there's a way of me... How am I going to do this? <laughs> Guess. I guess what I could do is do it that way. Keep pruning until you get a berry. Oh, I, I, I'm going to do a glowberry farm. Uh, I'm going to do a glowberry farm separately, I think. I've been trying to offer my help for stream and video uh, technical support. Nice. That's what you've been doing today? Or is that what you're trying to do here? Because I was going to say, we, yeah, we, we, we don't need it here. We're, we're good. But thank you. Thanks for the offer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, do I have a slab? Just in case it's still offered. Yeah, no, I'm absolutely fine, my dude. I have nearly five years worth of streaming experience. Actually, no, nearly six years worth of streaming experience. I'm fine. I know how this whole thing works. Fairly confident when it comes to streaming. It's, uh, yeah. I was just thinking you wanted it to be lush uh, with Glowberry would add some lushness. Uh, I don't want it to look lush. No, I want it, uh, it would add some light. Yeah, no, no, I'm, I'm going to use the, um, the lanterns, I think. Hanging lanterns for the light. Uh, no, I don't want it to look lush. I want it to look moist and damp. That's the objective. Hence why I'm using, like, the tough blocks and, like, the orangey, uh, I, I'll be using a lot of, like, the orangey stuff. Uh, I think I'll use, like, the cobbled slate this as well like on the roof maybe uh, on the ceiling could do some sort of featuring <laughs> get the hint sir there we go um yeah and and i want these things hanging from the ceiling as well just in time for that <laughs> yeah i know right i mean it's kind of like uh you know I I was polite with it. Kath was polite. And uh it it's kind of like a matter of, you know, if uh if uh <laughs> if you can't get it, if you can't get the hint, get the fuck out. It's it's as simple as that. Just just fuck off. <laughs> no, I don't need your shitty stream advice. I've been doing this for long enough. Get the fuck out of here, dude. Ah, uh, there's only so much politeness, like, you could give to someone. <laughs> it's only so much politeness, right? <laughs> it really is. My, my question got his answer. Get the fuck out. <laughs> I know, right? It's like, oh, I've got some advice. Yeah, who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you to, uh... To be saying that you've got advice for streamers anyway. What 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 are your credentials? You know. Now I mean here's the thing. If I asked for it, fair enough. 
If, if I ask for advice, then yeah, sure, go for it. Did anyone hear me ask for advice on how to stream? Did, did anyone? Did anyone hear me ask for advice? Nope, didn't think so. Fuck off, Janice. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. <laughs> don't ever stop being you. <laughs> well, I mean, at some point, this version of Womble will cease to exist, and another version of Womble will take its place. It actually is constantly happening. Gradually happening over a long period of time. At what point do you hang up on the telemarketer? I know, right? <laughs> uh, yes, perfect. That's that's what I was hoping there. Okay, uh, so so we've kind of got a little bit of a shape going on here, which I think looks kind of nice. Um, again, I probably will change out, like, those, those dirt blocks will have to go. I probably will change out the actual block choices, and I'm probably going to make the roof taller as well, so it kind of, like, domes over. Uh, here, maybe we can add in a few of these now. Let's put a little bit of granite in. Don't have any granite. I almost timed him out after the first post, but I thought I'd give him, give you the option to respond. I, I, I responded, like, I, 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 I responded as though, okay. I actually, I thought he was asking me for advice. That's what I thought. Or, uh, and then I was like, wait, no. He's, uh, he said that he's, he's had a good day today because he's, been giving advice? I couldn't quite figure it out. I'm gonna be honest. He wasn't very clear. I don't normally give the chance to say hello, as I don't answer my phone for numbers that don't show up. Yeah, I... I have to. Because <laughs> my work is always withheld number. It's always a withheld number, so I kind of have to, unfortunately. Uh, okay, we'll leave that open. Like, like this kind of thing. I'm not sure whether the uh, granite does work, actually, on that. I know I want some mushroom blocks and stuff as well. Uh, I'm not sure the granite works. Hmm. All jokes aside, I'll see myself out for a little, uh, grab some food. No worries, Ray. Thanks for stopping by, my dude. Enjoy the nom noms, as Jenna says. <laughs> what am I working on here? Uh, I'm doing a very fancy looking um, wheat farm, which will be redstone powered. We will hit a button, trap doors open, and then they close, pushing all the wheat down. See, MO5 needing to hide their numbers. <laughs> Shut up, Kev. Um, <laughs> hmm. Hmm, hmm, this is a this is a tricky piece. Maybe we put that the last water source in there and we can have the water source there. Yep. Yeah, how, how are you, John? What have you been doing? Have you been doing any more like kind of exploring and stuff? Um adventuring? I've been out and about recently, so I've kind of got it on on my mind. I've been doing a, bu a bunch of climbing and stuff. In fact, I went climbing, um... Da -da 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 -da. I went climbing, uh... Da -da 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 -da. When was it? Friday. Fr Friday evening? Kind of grazed all of my, uh... All of my elbow, made a boo-boo.
Got home from camping with the family. Nice. Maybe not M, uh, MI5, maybe the former KGB. Oh, you dick. Ah! You're a dick. Such a dick move that was. Uh, do we have... I don't have any more stone. Did I leave some in here? I did. Excellent. Need one stair. I'm excited to make this this entire like build, this base look nice and like with the new blocks and stuff, I'm quite challenged to do that right now. Uh yes, excellent. Let's just make that look nicer. Hey, Kieran, how's it going, my dude? Long time no see, sir. Yeah, I think we bumped into each other on uh, EJ's server, Minecraft server. Um, a while back, but yeah, I haven't haven't seen you in a while, man. What have you been up to? Life schedules were out of sync, it seems. I think so, yeah, it does. Like I said, I think I, I saw you on um EJ's uh EJ's Minecraft server uh, for a bit. But I haven't spent much time on the server, honestly. I uh I don't have the time. Do, 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 do. As soon as the COVID restrictions are lifted, I'm gonna go and plan another trip to that area I filmed before. Right now, we're not allowed to travel out of our health care district. Yeah, um, we've had our restrictions lifted recently, so I've been making the most of it this time. Because, I'll be honest, I have a feeling it's going to uh, only get worse. Do, do I, is this all the dripstone I have? Uh, that's not good. Just finished the Wizard semester last uh, Thursday. Grades are handed in. Complaints are trickling out. All good. <laughs> uh, okay, so which one is the one that doesn't get one? I think it's this one that doesn't get any water. No, it's that one there. Okay, so let's put a dripstone block here. And I'm going to have that there. That's going to be really inconvenient for me. Uh, the next thing I want to do is I want to actually pull this uh, roof up a little bit more. And I kind of wanted to like dome it over a little bit. Um, so we can slab it out and make it look a little bit pretty. I have lasagna in the oven! Oh, you forgot to put the timer on. Oh well. Burnt lasagna for dinner. You know how to grow more. Yeah, I know how to grow. I know how to grow more. It's the uh, it's the dripstone block that I need. The block itself, not this. I need the block. Unless it turns into block eventually. If I can turn if I can turn it into block, that would be great. But yeah. Um Hmm. Okay, so that kind of like gives it a little bit of a, a domey feel. The shape looks good. I like the shape. And we're going to kind of like do a similar thing on this side as well. And I definitely want to change these trapdoors, but I don't know what I would change them to. I I really want jungle wood, but I there's no way I'm gonna get to a jungle biome anytime soon. I didn't think granite was even in the game yet. Yeah, this is this is granite here. It's yeah, it doesn't quite blend as well as I was hoping it would with the uh, dripstone. Maybe I need the granite on the roof instead of on in the walls. Let's try that. Look at the state of the cheese on top once it starts bubbling. Give it a love, love luck and tend to 
15 minutes. Who puts cheese on their lasagna? That's gross. <laughs> I do like the look of the dirt, though. So maybe, maybe we blend it with dirt. I need to get up there. I put cheese on cereal. Gross. Do I have a water bucket that's full? Yes. <laughs> well, that's just irritating. There's a torch. Is that going to flood everything? I feel like this is going to flood it. Yep. Yeah, it's flooding it. Okay. Okay, I see how it is. I see how it is. Right, okay, so we're right here. Uh, here, let's block this off with a bit of dirt. Ah! Okay, this, this is going to be a pain in the butt, this sand is. Let's do that there. I do have a shovel. I've got two shovels. Okay, so this should now grow and can join together, I believe. Again, we need a like a blending block from the stone to the uh, to the dripstone. Yeah, it's dripping quite quite quickly. Interesting. Yeah, I need I need some sort of a blending block, and I'm not sure what to call, to use. I might create like a little hole here. I did say I wanted to use the deep slate, right? So let's have a go with that. That isn't cheese. That's milk. Way past its due. <laughs> isn't all cheese milk way past its due? Maybe I could try the tough. The tough might work. Hmm. The tough might work, and we can try the cobbled deep slate. Let's have a play around. I don't think I can create slabs of tough, though. Oh, yeah, that, that tough actually does work, because it kind of, like, just gives that moldy, horrible look without it being uh, mossy cobblestone. So the tough works, and then... Okay. Are you building your whole base underground? Yeah, I'm gonna do like a, a cave base. Um, because it was the caves and cliffs update, and there wasn't really much cliffs added, so... Cave base. Oops, not there. Uh, I don't like that sticking out, actually. I think I'm going to put that inside there and we'll hide the um, slate as slabs, maybe. Oops. I 
I definitely need some mossy cobblestone as well. So let's go and find... I need to find some vines or something. But that that's the kind of feel that I want for this. I want it to... And this eventually will grow and connect. Right? Um... So I, I kind of want it to feel like it's very mossy, like we've, we've, the, the, I think the story behind this uh, farm in particular is, um, we found like an ancient ruiny place and we've kind of hollowed our way into this building and created a very modern farm maybe, I'm not sure. Or maybe it's just a group of people that are living underground. And, um, yeah, I'm still not a fan of the blending between this and this. I think we, we need, need something between those, because it just doesn't, it just doesn't quite work. Oh, that's, that's going to be a pain in the butt. That'll do. I'll have to go above ground and fix that. Cave bases are cool. I'm hoping it will be, yeah. I'm. That's what I'm aiming for. I'm, I'm aiming for... Some sort of story going on, like, underneath. Like, why... why the first question I'm trying to ask myself is, why am I in the cave? And... Um, what is the purpose here? So, we'll see. I don't know. I, I, the, the main reason is I want to play around with the new blocks and see if I can build something with the new blocks. I always find it challenging to, to build with the new blocks to see how they work. And uh, where was the other place that doesn't get hit? Other place was here. Okay, with this one, I'm going to do it differently. So, so we'll have the stalactite going down like that. And then this block here... Um, well, first off, I can put a torch there. I also need lanterns kind of like coming down from the from the top of this. All right, I'll tell you what. Let's get the um let's get the uh soil tilled first. You're back. Welcome back. Actually, I'm going to do that. Just to help it out. Hollow Outer Mountain. Well, um, so, so the plan is not necessarily to hollow out, like, a full cave. Uh, I'm using the caves that are, all, that are already generated in the game to kind of, like, create uh, an effect. As though someone has found a cave and decided that they're going to live in the cave. And I, I need to figure out, like, a story reason why they are. 
Actually, I think I might just get rid of that piece there, and I think... It might be alright. Yeah, there we go. That was what I needed to do. It, it fixed it. You want it to look natural, I get it. Yeah. Um, not necessarily natural. I do want some, like, I, I do want some story of, like, someone moving into these caves, and then we need to, like, kind of figure out who these people are and why they're living in caves. Um, but, I mean, that's all yet to come. Um, let's see, this piece, because there is technology in the cave, right? Because I'm... There will be a lot of, like, random technology and all sorts of stuff going on. But yeah, I need to figure out how to blend that better. Actually, it's not too bad. Um, maybe, maybe I need... Hold on, hold on, hold on. What if we remove that piece and put in... Uh, let's get a cobble stair going. Dwarves! I thought that maybe we could do like a dwarven kingdom under here, but I don't think I want to do dwarves because... That, that was a plan that I was going to do in the past. Uh, I was, I was going to do like an underground dwarven base and... I, I had, like, a really cool, like, medieval idea for it, but, um, with the new blocks, I think I'm going to do it slightly differently. I kind of like that. The Russians. <laughs> Okie dokie. And I think this should still get... Oh, no, 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 it, it's not going to because I need a water source. Put the water source here. So that should do this quite nicely. I'm not sure whether it'll do this as well. If it doesn't, we can put another one underneath. And we'll just have a look, see what other pieces of soil keeps mm, kind of breaking. It doesn't help that if you fall on it, it breaks. Might get rid of like these pieces here. Okay, should we uh I need to key up the redstone behind. Let me get rid of that. I need to key up the redstone from behind as well. So let's... Uh, I should have enough redstone for the time being. Um, I want some wheat seeds. You do have to be careful with light levels as well. Yeah, you see that one? I can't even plant a thing there. Let's, for the time being, put a torch uh, here. Yeah, we'll have to figure out lighting as well. I'll have to be quite smart. Actually, we could put lighting underneath underneath the dirt blocks. Yeah, I, I could put lighting blocks underneath those, actually. Now I come to think of it. Uh, maybe like some glow shroom uh, lighting or glowstone. I will have to go to the nether, though, to do that. So that's... Mm. Alright, all of that needs to change. I think this needs to all be dirt.
Okay. And we'll do something similar uh, on the other side. All right, let's place this for the time being. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of tempted to keep going in that direction and uh, make it a little bit bigger, a little bit longer. But that, I, I, I'm I kind of digging this. I'm kind of digging it. Yeah, I like it because there's only like a few spots of that. It's not over, t it's not t taking over the whole room. It feels like the cave is kind of being held up in places. I'm probably going to have to remove this. We'll see. No, I, I, I do actually really like this. I think I think this is look this is getting there. It's not quite there yet, but it's getting there. We still uh, it still need to blend that a lot better though. And blackstone would look great there. Oops. Trampling my own crops. Um, Alright, let's try some granite uh, for one last time. I've not actually got that much granite. These little pieces over here as granite, I think. Um. I think the granite is a little bit too orange, right? Like, it's just a bit too much. It's not terrible. but it's not amazing either. Actually, it's not too bad when you kind of like mix it together. If you put the granite inside the dripstone, if you put it around the dripstone, it's bad, but if you put it inside the dripstone, it's, it's actually okay. Uh, let's, because it just breaks up the texture of the dripstone.
Where's my tough? It's there. Yeah, you don't want the granite to be the focal point. It does look a little bit messy with all these different textures and colors, though. Different shades of the grays and things. Yeah, that piece of granite really sticks out. I should have waited to do the crops, but I wanted while I was building this to uh, at least have a wheat farm going. Ah! So that's going to be the worst thing about this farm is that you're just crampling all the crops all, crops all the time. Yeah, I like this. I like this. Okay. We've, we've kind of got a theme. I think I think we're good with the shape. Um, I still need to mess around with like this kind of feel to it. I think I might make the entire roof out of the tuff and the slate. Just like a combination of the tuff and the slate. And then the walls can be more of the, um, more of the stone granite combination, maybe. Or like every so often this granite and the dripstone are around. I don't have any more of that. We don't have to... At least I don't think we need to have this. Can have that on the other blocks as well. Okay. We'll keep it on the dripstone for the time being. We'll kind of see how it goes. Because they could hide some armor up in that in that corner in there. So I, the dome is coming along. That's great. Let's uh, do the same on this side. Actually, I think what I might do now, I might set up the collection system. I think that's probably more important. Um, which would mean I would like some ice of some kind. Yeah, let's go and get some ice. Oh, I can't pick up ice yet, though, because I don't have Silk Touch. What is the next enchant going to be? Unbreaking 3. Or Efficiency 2. Hmm. What about the book? Infinity, I want that. Uh, huh. Melt some more of this stuff. Alright, let's put all of this stuff back in here. Oh. I've got sand now, too. Put that in the dirt. That sand very quickly is going to turn into TNT. I hope you're aware. Because I don't think I'll be building with sand. I guess there's glass. I could make some glass out of the sand. We don't have villages yet, do we? I forget the that that's how normal people craft sand. A uh, glass. So used to having it from villages. Put that away for the time being. Uh, I'm gonna go and chop down some trees, I think.
do do. There we go. Right, let's go and uh, chop down some trees, and then I'm gonna go and smelt up some wood uh, for um, all sorts. Uh, let's get. What saplings do I have available? Let's go and get some birch going as well. I'm going to plant some birch trees. Which means going to the overground. Oh no. Oh, look, it's daytime. That's lucky. Oh, what is this light? What is this world? <laughs> Do I have here? That's unbreaking too. Random rotten flesh. Do you know what I might do? I might bring, I might bring villagers into this uh, at some point. Hmm. What time is it? I can't go for too long today. It it was only going to be a short stream. I'll leave him. I don't have a, uh, what do you call it? I'm actually fairly fortunate that we've got spruce trees, um, birch and oak. It's just a shame we don't have dark oak in the vicinity. I've got to go, I've got to travel in that direction though uh, if we want to explore. I don't really want to do that today. So we'll leave it for now. Oh, I need to not have that there. Don't remember where I put the source block now. I don't have any dirt with me. That's slightly annoying. Oh, I yeah, I wanted to maybe set up like a rudimentary um Oh yeah, we we need the saplings cuz we're low on uh, just all types of saplings, aren't we? Dude, did this only drop three saplings? Four. Hmm. Let's spread the saplings out then. Seeing as I seem to always be making a net negative on these freaking saplings, I'm gonna spread them out. It's five saplings. There you go. That'll do. Hmm.
Do we reckon that we've done enough smelting to level up yet? Oh, I was... Never mind then. I thought I thought I was on the verge of being uh, level 30. I wasn't. I was on the verge of being uh, level 29, which is slightly frustrating. <laughs> do 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 do. Bam bam ba da da. Can I smoke wood? I cannot. Uh, maybe we should uh, kill some more uh, cows then. I know I've got that cow farm, the suffocation cow farm. Whoops. Well, that's just rude. Eh, we'll leave him. Oh, come on. There we go. Please. Seriously? I didn't get... Uh, I didn't get to level up. Anyway, that's given me plenty of meat. Let's go and cook that up. Oxidized copper. chains then I'm gonna get some lanterns and we'll start figuring out lighting for this side hmm I still want to color this a little bit better The biggest issue that I have is that I'm trampling the crops as I'm going around this. make some uh, lanterns real quick. Can't think what it takes to make lanterns. I think I need this. There we go. 29 lanterns. Perfect. I want them kind of like hanging at different levels too. Oh, I can't hang it from there. Can hang it from there, but I'm pretty... Pretty sure when I open that, it's not going to flow. So let's hang it from here then instead. Hey, 
Right, let's get rid of that this crappy diorite. I'm out of a pick. I'm out of a pick. Yeah, that that that's looking good. I like that. I'm liking this. It's okay. It's not the best I've ever done. Um I'm going to build up so much diorite from doing this sort of stuff. Uh, let's get some andesite here, and let's get... Maybe a bit of gravel. I'm curious to know what the gravel would look like. Because the gravel could be the answer that I need... ...to find out how to make this, like, blend a little bit better. Hmm, but then how do I stop the gravel? Because it's a gravity block. I think I think the answer is the gravel a little bit more, so so we could like and the andesite works quite well, uh, because the gravel has a very, very orangey tinge to it in places, which is the same colors that I think they're using for the, um, dripstone. so sure about the normal cobblestone, so I think I'm going to get rid of that. Put in another piece of... I don't know whether this is me trampling the crops here, or whether this is because it's not getting wet and they're popping off. What do we think so far? I'm not so sure about this back wall, but we can always we can always add things to that. Yeah, you see, now I would would like to have gravel there, but I don't think that's a good idea. Pull that bit out. Slate then up here, I think. Let's get rid of, let's get rid of this. I'm trying to open up the room a little bit more, actually. Seriously.
<laughs> I should have done the freaking wheat in last. Should put the seeds in last. What was that thing that you shouldn't do in Minecraft? Okay, this is where the um, this is where the uh, hoppers and stuff will be. I put a hopper here, and then we can filter it, filter it in through like through this, and we can put it like a little storage unit maybe. It's good to know that that's where that goes. Do I have hopper? I've got one. Let's go and make some more. Where's my trapdoors? I've got so many, like, freaking axes, I didn't need that many. Put those away. It's very, it's very annoying. Um, sometimes. That's not the block that I was hoping for. go uh, punch it then fine Do you know what? I'm just I'm just gonna frickin' mine this out <laughs> by this side of it. Whatever. I can't can't deal with that right now. I will need um another chest in here. Okie dokie. Uh, that's, 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 that. I do have enough for another chest. I need two chests, don't I? I mean, I could have a little item sorter here. Actually, there is a there is a potential for an item sorter here, but um, we're not going to. There's room for it. I could easily put one in. Tell you what, I'm just going to leave that open for the time being. See if I can get some silk touch going. Um, not enough to level up. That's enough to level up. There we go. All right, let's get the infinity book and then hopefully. Oh, I've got no. Um, do I not have any? I've got one piece of. Oh, I need to go mining for lapis. <sighs> okay, fine. Let's go and do that now. That sucks. 
I wasn't expecting to have to do that. Oh well. Uh, ladder can go in there. Boat can come with me. Lanterns can go in here for the time being. Um, we're going to need a bunch of... I'm going to cook that right there. Because we're running low on coal, so we'll uh, we'll get some charcoal going. Uh, I'm actually going to save the apple now. I don't need the apples, so we'll save those. I've got two axes. We don't need those with us. Uh, two pickaxes, rather. Um, we don't need those. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, Trapdoors. We'll get rid of that. And the ender pearl. I'm gonna leave in the mob drop. I don't need that. We'll take that with me. Right, let's go strip mining, I guess. I can't think of a better way of getting... Why was? Why did I go to my strip mine? Can't think of a better way of getting... Uh... Oh, hold on. Did an enderman troll me here? An enderman trolled me. Ow! Bastard. I'm probably gonna have to mine all of this stuff out. Hmm. Definitely gonna have to mine all this out. Oh, this was uh, obsidian. We all mined out here. Let's uh, let's mine out this coal, seeing that as that was one of the things that I needed. I need lapis. That's all I'm bothered about. And redstone. Redstone's always important. Maybe diamonds. Yeah, so all of this deep slate at some point, I'm gonna mine all of this. So I'll be using it in builds and things. I think that's where the diamonds were. We got five from one vein. Some redstone straight off the bat. Nice. Did I bring a crafting table with me and some st for sticks for torches? I didn't. Well, this is going to be a short trip. Oh, and hello! Look at this super difficult diamond to to find. And here a skeleton as well. So 
So it's three. We'll have to look and see what's below it as well. Might just be a three vein. It's a four vein. Nice. Sweet. Six diamonds. That's not what I was after, though. I need. We need lapis. Lapis lazuli. That's what we need. Oh, this deep slate is a pain to get through. But while we're here, we can we can take the deep slate. Oh, we got some redstone. Yeah, I'm not so much of a fan of the mining speed on this deep slate. I don't want it to be tougher than stone. And this tough is ironically a lot quicker than what I thought it would be. I wish you could get haste potions, not speed potions, haste potions that make you mine faster. But you can only get haste too from a beacon, can't you? I can hear bubbling. And death. What level are we on right now? Oh, we're on Y level 9. That's a mistake. Oh. Oh, no, never mind. Every time that that fools me into thinking there's something nice there. All right, let's go up this cave. We might be able to find lapis around up this cave somewhere. Cuz I'm not really after the diamonds. I'm after more lapis than anything. Oh, this is going to be a big thing, isn't it? iron as well. And we'll take the copper too, because I think we're going to need copper quite a lot of. It'll be interesting to build with copper, because copper is quite a difficult resource to come across to get the blocks and stuff. Also, I... Okay. Have noticed I'm using my, uh, my, uh, efficiency pick more than I thought I would. Oh, seriously? Is there any lapis down there? I don't see any. 
So the fact that there's no mobs here tells me it's probably nighttime outside and everything spawned on oh, on the overworld. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to go down there. I have still yet to have seen a glow squid. That was a bastard. Is there any sign of uh, Lapis down there? No. Hmm. Oh, they give a little bit of experience, that's good. Other than that, they're completely useless. Alright, let's keep going for Lapis. Kind of hoping that eventually I will get something on this in this strip mine. Oh, but I'm out of torches. Ah, <sighs> that sucks. That sucks, dude. I was really hoping that I would be able to find some something. Instead I got stinking diamonds. <laughs> Oh, a bit of redstone though. Last torch. Lapis. Here. Any second. Now. 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 Come on. Dude, if anything, it's Lapis that doesn't seem to spawn in as much as what it used to. It used to be really common, especially in, like, caves like this. That's irritating. Ah. Yeah, there's nothing. There's nothing. That sucks, dude. Right, well, we'll go back undefeated. Uh, sorry. Go back defeated. Oh, and I'm also going to take these blocks with me as well. Ooh, sweet. Nice. Just want to wear out this axe. Actually, yeah. Let's uh, let's keep going with the with the pickaxe. I'm just gonna mine some of this deep slate. Uh, actually, I'm gonna do the bit at the entrance of the cave. In the ravine. So we'll mine this bit out here. Speaking of lava. So move that to there and then I can quickly access it. Oh, 
But I've got no torches. I was kind of hoping that there might be a little bit of um, Lapis in the deep slate because there does seem to be ores that generate inside this thing But it doesn't look that way Oh sure Nothing! Hmm. Ha having a large amount of this deep slate though is probably going to help me uh, with the cave because these are the blocks that I want to build things with. I need, I need to find complementing blocks with the deep slate, I think. Uh, Granite looks quite nice with uh, the, um, actually no, maybe not granite. The gra gravel looks quite nice with the, what do you call it? The dripstone. also do want to um, make these mines look okay as well. I don't want to just like mine, strip mine. Um, I want to kind of like decorate them as I go. But uh, that being said, like for the time being, it's not too bad. Oopsie. way is out this way out oh I've been I was mining the completely wrong the wrong spot I didn't realize I'd gone this far down the strip mine this was the bit that I wanted to be mining <laughs> Ooh, gold. So that's new. There we go. I wonder, I'm kind of curious to know how deep this would go. Ooh, we got some iron in here as well. Where is all the lapis though? Come on, dude. Like, usually when you go caving, you can only find lapis. Is it because I'm looking for it? Have they actually turned down the lapis, lapis spawn rate though? Like, they actually might have done that. Mm. Oh, I've got a random torch. They legitimately might have done this. How much deep slate do we need left? 
Let's uh, continue mining this. It's all the other ores. That's all we're getting. It's really bizarre. Iron and copper kind of makes sense because iron and uh, copper should be the more common. But the fact that we've got like redstone, gold, and uh, redstone, gold, and even diamonds before Lapis is freaking weird, man. Like, it's just, I don't know, I don't know. Alright, and that's it. That's the end of that. Oh no, I can't get out. <laughs> Let's just uh, cover that up real quick, just for the time being, just so I don't fall down there again. Okie dokie. Well, we got we got a bunch of copper and iron and uh, gold and redstone. Redstone is important. Uh, is this the right way? It is. Ugh. You dick. Need a better way up from here. I'll go and pick those up in a sec. Right, let's, uh, I'll tell you what we can do first. Let's throw that in there, that in there. Let's put those in. Oh, yeah, let's also fuel the furnaces with all of this coal we picked up. Let's take that out of there and fill that in with this. Let's put all this deep slate in. I might use one of these for deep slate now. Now that we're getting bits of it. Yeah, let's uh, let's put the deep slate in uh, in this here. That's smooth basalt. Oh, I forgot that. Hmm. We would have to go to the Nether for that though. Gunpowder and string, and the glow stuff. Got a bit of redstone, not bad, not bad. I don't mind having redstone. Uh, oh yeah, we had diamonds as well. Let's turn that into a, should we do a diamond sword maybe? Or maybe we should do a diamond helmet? Not sure whether I want to do diamond gear yet. I'm gonna make another diamond pick because I want Silk Touch. So do a diamond pick. Then we could do a diamond sword and shovel. That looks nice. That could, that would go really well with honey blocks. Cool. So our problem is we still don't have any lapers, so we can't do any enchants. I, I don't know what I'm going to do with that, because I can't m progress on with the build until uh, after I've uh, got my enchants going. Wow, all of those, all of that coal <laughs> I used.
Yeah, all of that coal I used. Um, all of that coal I mined. I need more. Uh, let's go and take the. Let's go and get some more wood. Uh, where's my axes? I need to craft up a bunch of. Um, I will then need to craft up a bunch of uh, picks again, and then we can go mining. Ugh. Well, the the lucky thing is SpaceX stuff. Nice. Huh, I mean, mm, I think I might just uh, put up, do, finish that collection system before I go mining again. I just want to use the levels up while I've got the levels, you know what I mean? Like, I want to do enchanting, so that, because I've got the levels right now. Which is very irritating. I can't believe I've not found Lapis, like... It used to be really common. I don't know if they've changed the spawns for it. Because they've obviously changed the spawn for diamonds. I knew about that, but... Lapis? Lazuli? I don't know. Maybe I need to do caving instead of uh, strip mining for it. I don't know. Right, we need to be net positive of um, saplings. Here, yeah, let's have a look at this. It's this Twitter thread. Static fire complete, targeting June 17th for GPS. Nice. Come on. I'm just kind of waiting for the bushes to drop so that I can pick up the saplings because I'm low on saplings. Well, I've now got a... I've definitely got a net positive for the birch sapling. So let's do a 3x3 three three little area for those. Oh, we have phantoms. And I have six, six oak saplings too. All right, I'm gonna go sleep. Maybe I should have killed some of the phantoms to get phantom membrane, but um, I don't need it just yet anyway, so. Let's put on some different music. <laughs> Let's put on some, uh, some coffee house stuff. There we go. It's a little bit better. It's got it on in the background. And sizzle and bang, right?
Get in the boat. Get in the boat. I think I might have to shoot. I had to shoot the creeper before I killed the enderman. He picked up the dirt from there? I didn't know they could do that. He picked up the dirt from the middle piece. What a dick. Got him! There we go. Now we're getting a net positive of um, saplings. So that's good. Definitely got a net positive of the birch sapling, so I'm pleased with that. In we go. Just gonna put these two there. <sighs> it's quite warm in my room at the moment. I'm gonna call it soon. But I'll have one more look for Lapis. But I mean, we've been through all of our local caves and there's nothing on the surface, right? I can make it. I can make it. I can make it. Serious parkouring. Right there. We got a lot of coal around here. Right, I need, um... I need to, uh, get... Mm, some more iron picks. I can't believe I've only got one piece of lapis lazuli. It's... Honestly, it's baffling me. I... <sighs> I've not got that much iron left actually either, so I do need to be careful. Gonna smelt all of that. We'll put those that away. Actually, let's turn that into sticks. think I need any more than this. Don't need to take any more than that with us. So I'm going to actually leave these sticks. Uh, I don't know whether I want to uh, go mining actually. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's tricky because it's like I don't want to spend time just mining on stream. I want to finish this. So. Let's um... Let's just work on getting a collection system going here. Where did I put? Oh, I used... Bear with me. It's got really warm all of a sudden. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll do two. Okay, we've got some iron picks ready, and we'll uh, just dig out the rest of this, and I want to uh, create a good waterway system here. So that's going to be a water source block, go in that direction, um, then all of this is going to be good. Do 
didn't mean to do that. There we go. I need a sign signpost to go. Hold on a second. Why are these not flowing? That's what I wanted to do, and then have another one here. I'm doing this. Uh, I need a uh, signpost. Let's go make a signpost. I need a few. Oh, do 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 Nearly there. Actually, no, I don't want that one there. And then we, we, we're going to test this uh, with a trial run in a sec, just to make sure that everything is being collected up. Should work. Yeah, it should work. Right, should we, uh, should we see if this works? Here. Bop! Oh no! <laughs> that was unforeseen. <laughs> That was unforeseen. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't expect that to happen. <laughs> uh, okay, and then this is also getting stuck on weird hitboxes here. Damn. Uh, okay. And now there's also like some wonky stuff there. Okay. Um. Right, first things first, I can fix one of these problems with a slab. Might not be able to have the uh, stalactites then. In the middle. And this didn't, this didn't flow. So this did the exact opposite of what I thought it was going to do. So let's put this in. Like that. Hold on, hold on. I think I'm being uh, an idiot. I was being an idiot. This whole time, and I didn't even know. Let me get rid of that one. Cool. That's all I needed to do for that. Okay, so that solves that problem. 
Let's put these back in. Actually, no. What I'm going to do, I'm actually going to uh, throw down some blocks real quick. We'll see what we get back. What blocks do I have to throw down? Here, let's do one of those. If we get all three of those. See, that is a problem. Uh, will this change if we have a block here? Hmm. See, that isn't going to be there, so it's not going to hit that side. It's... Uh, okay, so... Hmm... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Because I need... If I'm going to make that shape work, then we need some sort of catching system. Maybe we just drop this whole layer down onto this layer. Ow. Seriously? Also, hey, Twisted, how are you? A slab? I don't think a slab would, would work there. So it's just this bit at the front where it's not collecting the resources that I want it to. I didn't want that one. And it's pushing it off the side. That one got pushed over there, but, I mean, when we hit this button, that will also trigger the redstone on the other side as well. So... At least, I hope it will. Hopefully I can get the redstone to be on the same time. Hold on a sec. We need to uh, put fences all along this bit so that the water doesn't flow down the gap. So maybe that's what we can do. Oh well, we got we got some we got some things in there. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing fell through. Seriously? <laughs> Let's go replant, at least, for the time being. I'll, I'll have to, uh, I, I don't know, we might have to change this farm up. Like I said, it doesn't necessarily matter about it being functioning too much. I just... I don't know, I, I, I want it to look nicer. I want it to look nice, but I do want it to work. And at the moment, it's not working. So I might have to, I might have to decide on a different shape. We might have to compromise. Compromise style to functionality. So we'll leave that one there. I'm gonna go and breed up these um, 
We only got 29 wheat from that. I'm gonna breed up these goats now. They pass out of there. Don't think they can. I am curious. No drops. Ugh, that's useless. Yeah, no drop. That sucks. That sucks. So there's no so these these are actually quite a useless creature then. Other than the fact that they can jump. <sighs> Whatever. I'll make some sort of farm out of you guys. I wonder if uh, we can milk them. Yep, you can milk them. So, so we can milk the the goats. So we get goats' milk. Interesting, but it's just a milk bucket. Doesn't have any extra pr different different properties to it then. Put the minecarts away. Okie dokie, chat. I'm, uh... I think I'm done. I'm, I'm annoyed that we couldn't, uh, get any, uh... I'm annoyed that we couldn't get any Lapis for the 32 levels that we've now got. Ugh. I, I, I would actually rather have had Lapis than the other diamonds that we found. But it is what it is. Anyway, I'm gonna head out. I probably will be streaming tomorrow. Um, tomorrow afternoon. It'll be Kerbal. It'll be Kerbal. <laughs>